what is orange fact? So it is also called D antigen because this antigen is produced by the dominant gene, capital D, the dominant trait. You have studied Tom and the dwarf in the case of garden pea plants. Tom is a dominant character and then that is dwarf is a recessive character. Suppose a person with what is called D gene, that is a dominant gene. Now the character is expressed. If the person has recessive gene, that is the opposite alphabet, he is unable to produce the antigen. Hence it is called the antigen, a dominant trait. So it is a special type of antigen. First reported by Carl Lance Steiner and Alexander Wiener, that is 1940. After 40 years of the ABO blood group system, that was reported. In Asian monkey, on Asian monkey, what is called actually Makaka races. So found on the surface of our basis of that is Asian monkey, what is called Makaka races. That is why the factor is called orange factor by taking the first two letters of the species of that monkey. Hence the name orange factor. It is called the antigen because it is produced by a dominant gene, what is called capital D. Hence called the antigen. Two names. Now, though it was reported in the racist mind, later it was also reported in 80% of the humans along with normal antigens A or B or both are none. So they have their own antigens, either A or B or both, and no antigens. But they have, that is this antigen. So this is the most common type, 80% of the individuals are positive in nature. The most abundant group, positive. The least abundant group, that is also negative. Generally speaking, the most abundant blood group, positive blood group. Either A or B, you will see, I already gave the table column in the previous what is called the video. So it is also present in 80% of the humans along with the normal antigens A or B. So for example, a person with A blood group, if he is positive, he has antigen A as well as orange antigen. It is also called orange antigen. So both antigens are present in the surface of what is called orbis. So what is orange antigen? It is an immunogenic D antigen. What is the meaning for immunogenic? Stimulate the production of antibodies. Provoke the immune system to produce antibodies. That is called immunogenic. A substance which stimulates the production of antibodies is called immunogen. So you have immunogenic that normally stimulates the production of antibodies. Hence, this is called immunogenic D antigen of the RH factor system. Simple definition. So people with the D antigen are called RH positive. Our people with orange factor are called orange positive. And people without D antigen or orange factor are called orange negative. This is the basis for positive and for negative. Suppose a blood group, a person with blood group A. So in addition to the A antigen, if he has what is called orange antigen, then he is said to be A positive. So having A antigen as well as all antigen. Suppose a blood group person having A antigen, no orange antigen, is said to be what is called A negative. This is the basis. So A antigen with orange antigen, A positive. A antigen, no orange antigen, that is A negative. This is a classification. How can you classify the blood groups either positive or negative? So most of the persons are positive in nature. That's why I say 80% of the humans are positive. So we can see which is the largest blood group, either positive or negative. The answer is positive one. Okay. Now we have to go further. What do you mean by that is this antigen? How far it is normally clinically important? Is there any trouble it causes? Suppose marriage occurs between A positive and then A negative, A positive boy and A negative girl, like that. Or simply we can say that is marriage between positive and negative, like that. I want to give four marriages to find out which marriage is normally harmful. Okay, now let's see the next one.
when RH positive blood is transfused with RH negative, that is donation of RH positive blood to RH negative person, what will happen? Agglutination occurs. Because we are introducing the antigen, the principle used in blood transfusion, normally the donor should not contain antigen. So here we have the antigen, that's why it causes agglutination. But why? Just when orange negative blood is transfused with orange positive person, that is donation of orange negative blood to orange positive person, no agglutination occurs. Because here we are not introducing what is called antigen. No antigen is present, so there is no stimulation of antibodies. So this is what we have in the case of blood transfusion. Now we have to go for incompatibility during pregnancy. What is happening? In a particular marriage, there is an incompatibility. Incompatible means not matchable. So that what is happening, somehow something happens during the second pregnancy onwards. Now I'll show that one. So when two persons, a boy and a girl, meeting a doctor for advice, whether they are going to get married or not, is there any problems during pregnancy? The doctor advised the couple, the boy and girl, not to have more than one child. Not to have more than one child. If you have more than one child, from second pregnancy onwards, there is a death of the child. The doctor said, why? What is the reason for that one? Now we see here, what is the incompatibility that occurs during pregnancy because of the orange fact? Because you see that one this RH antigen or D antigen is produced by a dominant gene D. So normally when a cross occurs between a dominant and a recessive, then we have the expression of dominant. Now I am taking the marriage number one, the first one. Here father is RH positive, homozygous, father D gene, the dominant gene, capital D, capital. And mother is also RH positive. As a dominant trait, now we see that one, the fetus, the embryo, the new, the child which is going to be born, is also on the positive. So in this marriage, if both are positive, there is no effect on fetus. The child will be delivered normally in any number of pregnancies. Now the next one, both father and mother are negative, now the fetus is also negative. Here too, nothing would happen to the fetus, the mother can have any number of pregnancies. Then the third one, father is negative and mother is positive. This is a dominant character. Now as a general rule, just like the, what is called the crossing between tall and low, if you are getting tall, as in the case of monohybrid cross, the same Mendelian inheritance. So, RH positive is dominant over RH negative. We have said RH positive, but the individual is heterozygous. Here too, the child will be born normally without any harmful effects. But in the case of fourth marriage, I mentioned just in red color, in danger one. If father is positive and mother is negative, now the child or the fetus will be RH positive because D antigen is dominant over this what is called the negative, that is a recessive gene. So the fetus is RH positive. Now if you are comparing in the case of all these cases, if you are taking the mother's blood and the fetal blood, same in the first case, both are positive. If you are taking the second case, both the mother's blood and the fetal blood, same, nothing would happen. The third case also, both the mother's blood and the fetal blood same. That is why there is no harm to the fetus. But in the last case, you see that one mother is negative, having a negative blood, but the fetus is RH positive. Now the two blood being different. The fetal blood is RH positive and the mother's blood is RH negative. That results in the development of a particular disease. The name of the disease is called erythroblastosis vitalis. So in such cases, the first child would be born normally without any effect and show the picture what is the reason for that one. But in the subsequent pregnancies, now the child, the child will be aborted. Because of the development of the disease erythroblastosis vitalis or he 
hemolytic disease of newborn HDMD. The reason for that one, the destruction of all bases because of the reaction between antigen and antibody. I will explain that now with the diagram. One of the four marriages what I mentioned in the table column incompatibility occurs between the mother's blood and the fetal blood. The meaning for incompatibility not matchable. Both are different. The mother's blood is different from the fetus. Now in the first marriage when you take for example father RH positive and mother RH positive so we are getting what is called actually both the fetus and the mother say. The second case when you are taking for example RH negative both are RH negative so we are getting what is called the fetus as well as the mother's blood RH negative. Now in the third case if mother is positive and what we have actually that is the father is negative then the fetus is positive so both the blood could be same. So nothing would happen if the mother's blood is similar to the fetal blood. If both the blood groups are different that is the mother's and fetal blood then there occurs a disease. What is called erythroblastosis fetus. Why is it called as erythroblastosis? So it is nothing but the destruction of immature organs in the fetus leading to the abortion of the fetus, the death of the fetus, not in the first pregnancy, in the subsequent pregnancy. That's why it's also called hemolytic disease of newborn. Now what is happening? So father should not be positive. Mother should be positive, then father should be negative, that is acceptable. If father is positive and mother is negative, now I am taking the picture here, you see that one, father is positive and mother is negative. Now as it is a dominant character, the fetus of the child is orange positive. See, the fetal blood is orange positive and the mother's blood is orange negative. There is no transport of blood on either side, either from there is a fetus, to mother or from the mother to what is the fetus. There is no transport of antigen because there is a barrier, what is called the placenta. It doesn't allow the organs to enter into the fetus or from the fetus to the mother, so there is no transport of antigens. Again, in the case of orange factor, unlike antigen A, antigen B, so they have natural antibodies in the blood, anti A, anti B antibodies. The only thing they have to be stimulated. But in the case of orange antigen, there are no natural antibodies. There are no natural anti D antibodies or anti orange antibodies. Only when orange antigen is introduced into the blood, there is a development of antibodies. Otherwise, there is no development of antibodies. But there in the case of uh, a and B blood groups are AB system, the AB system. We have natural antibodies either A or B present according to the nature of the blood. So remember that one no natural antibody antibodies means no antibodies against orange antigen to begin with. Then how does the problem occur? Now if mother is negative and fetus is positive, Nothing would happen during the first pregnancy as there is no movement of antigens on either side. So the child will be delivered normally during the first pregnancy. During the subsequent pregnancy, what will happen? At the time of first delivery, there is a breakage of placenta. There is a chance of entering of this orange positive antigen from the fetus to enter into the mother's blood only at the time of delivery. So the antigen, a few antigens or RBCs enter into the mother's blood, mixed with the mother's blood because of the rupture of the person. By that time the child would be born, nothing would happen to the first child. Now this orange antigen now stimulate the production of anti orange antibodies or anti-D antibodies. Now here anti-D antibodies or anti orange antibodies developed against this antigen. It stimulates the formation of anti-D antibodies or anti-orange antibodies. So to begin with there are no antibodies. 
because of the rupture of the blood vessel, there is a mixing of fetal blood with the mother's blood. Some on disease with the RH antigen enters in the mother's blood. Now, by the time the child, the first child will be born without any effect. Now, it stimulates the formation of anti D antibodies or anti RH antibodies. Now, we have anti RH antibodies. Now, this antibody is of IgG type. What type this one? IgG type. Immunoglobulin. This is an antibody. We have five different types of antibodies. One such a type is IgG type. This is the smallest antibody. Ig means immunoglobulin. The only antibody that can pass across placenta. Other antibodies cannot. The only antibody that can pass across placenta is IgG type. Now what is happening? These antibodies enter into the fetal blood through the blood system, through the umbilical cord, through the placenta. So, enter your orange antigen at the time of first delivery, formation of anti antibodies in the mother's blood, but it will take some time. So, during the second pregnancy, now this anti antibodies pass through the placenta, umbilical cord, reach the fetal blood. Now, the reaction occurs here, reaction occurs. Anti D antibodies, orange antigen reaction occurs leading to the agglutination. That results in the disease of the abortion of the fetus and that is called erythroblastosis fetalis. What is the main symptom? So is it called hemolytic disease? Hemolysis means destruction of all bases. So the symptoms are hemolytic anemia. Hemolysis means destruction of all bases. Anemia means decrease in number of all bases. Jaundice. This is because of increased production of bilirubin, what is called the bile pigment, bilirubin pigment. Now, heart failure, splenomegal, any word ending with megaly is enlargement. So, splenomegal means enlargement of spleen. Hepatomegaly, hepaton means liver. So, enlargement of liver. So, remember that one any word having the suffix megaly. We have studied also acromegaly, over secretion of growth hormone in adult and 10 standard. That's called acromegaly. So, megaly, megaly means enlargement. So, enlargement of spleen and also the enlargement of the liver. And also, the bilirubin accumulates in the brain, causing damage to the brain also. So, the fetus will be abort. This is the reason why. This is called incompatibility between the mother's blood and the fetal blood. If both the blood being different, then only we have. If the both the bloods same, nothing would happen. If both positive, both negative, nothing would happen. So this is called this is actually genetically determined disease because of what we have. I mentioned only the marriage between homozygous dominant and homozygous dominant like. Suppose father is heterozygous dominant. Just like what is called heterozygous storm, mother is also heterozygous storm. Then there is a possibility of either RH positive or RH negative. In some cases, you know, I am telling that one if father is positive and mother is negative, there is a chance of getting only RH positive. Here both are positive. If both are positive, means both are heterozygous, there is a chance of getting what is called RH negative fetus. Okay? Either RH positive or orange negative fetus. That's about how the erythroblastosis fetalis occurs. Okay. Now how to prevent this one? I mentioned also the symptoms. The last part here in that blood group. How to prevent erythroblastosis fetalis. Now scientific advancement has been made to prevent erythroblastosis fetalis. A vaccine called Roga, the one which contains anti-D antibodies, otherwise called anti-D immunoglobulin, is administered to the pregnant mother in the cases of you see that one fetus positive and mother negative. During the 28th to the 34th week of pregnancy, this is called first injection. If the mother delivered orange positive child, 
during the first delivery. So normally you know that one. So second injection of NAD antibodies should be given to the mother. That will give what is called immunity and that one prevents what is called the development of erythroblastosis vitreus. Suppose if the mother delivers the male child or female child negative, no need to give the second injection. Only when the first child born is positive, then the second injection of chromo vaccine should be given. This is nothing but actually intramuscular vaccine. It is to be injected below the skin intramuscular. That is called intramuscular injection. So that is about what we have. That is the method to prevent erythroblastosis vitreus. So no one should be feared about it nowadays. Then it can neutralize the antigens that enter into the mother if fetus is positive and mother is negative. So nothing would happen to any number of children born to that particular mother, either in the first or second or third etc. So with this I concluded about what we have, the blood analysis. Okay.